Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? We have a new story in our book. This one's about a new baby. Wonderful. Babies are so special. They are a gift from God. And when you get a gift, you say thank you, right? <laughs> well, that's what our memory verse is about. Our memory verse says, give thanks to the Lord. Can you say it with me? Give thanks to the Lord. Good job. That's from Psalms 136 verse 1. Well, here's baby Moses. Oh, and his family was so happy when he came to them. Oh, they gave thanks to the Lord. They took good care of their baby when he cried. Brother and sister said, shh, shh. It's okay, baby. Shh, we won't let anything bad happen to you. We'll take care of you, baby. Oh, yes, Moses' mommy and daddy loved him very much because babies are a gift from the Lord. But, you know, this the, Moses' family was one of God's people. And God's people, the Hebrews, lived in Egypt where there was a king who did not like God's people. He did not want them to get strong and have many babies and be happy. No, no, no. He did not think babies were a gift from the Lord. No. He sent soldiers to find the babies. No more babies, he said. No babies for God's people. Well. Don't cry, baby Moses. The soldiers can't hear you. Shh, shh. What can we do? How can we protect him? God loves babies, and God did not want the soldiers to hurt Moses. No, no, no. That would be very sad. So, brother and sister and mother and father kept a secret. Shh. Don't tell. We have a baby hiding here. We will keep our baby safe. God will help us. They prayed to God, how can we keep our baby safe? God, please tell us, what can we do? God gave mommy a plan. The bad king said, throw the babies in the river. And God gave mommy a new idea. I will make a boat for my baby. My baby will go safely to the river and the boat will rock, rock, rock him and my baby will be safe in the boat. Oh, wow. Mommy worked carefully and mommy worked quickly, weaving the best grass she could find to make a little baby boat for baby Moses. Then when it was all done, she put some sticky black tar on the outside to keep it, and probably the inside too, to keep it all safe so the water could not go inside a basket boat to float on the water. Shh, it's a secret. Don't tell. Shh, God will protect our baby. God gave mommy a good idea. Hmm, will baby Moses like the boat? Will it work? Let's see. Oh, mommy came quietly sneaking with big sister to the water very early in the morning. It wasn't safe for a big baby at their house. No, 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 the soldiers would find him. But here at the river, in a basket boat, he could rock, rock, rock all day long and be happy and quiet. Shh, baby Moses, shh. Mommy and sister prayed, dear God, take care of our baby. Watch him with your angels. Then mommy had to go to work and big sister stayed to watch. Big sister Miriam would watch and see. She would do her best to take care of the baby. Was she the only one watching? <laughs> no, no, no. God sent his angel to watch the baby too. God knows where baby Moses is. God loves babies. They're a special gift. He has big plans for baby Moses. Oh, look, somebody's coming. Is it good? Is it bad? Who is that? Oh, she's very pretty. Wow, that's the princess. Big sister Miriam says, but the princess was from the king's house. Is she bad like the king? Will she not like the baby? 
Oh, what if she can't see? Big Sister Miriam is praying. Please keep the baby safe. Maybe she won't see the little boat. The princess. What will the princess do? The princess sees the boat. The princess is curious. What's that? She says to her maid. Go get that for me. The little Moses was sleeping, rocking quietly in his boat. But I think when the princess opened it up, he cried. Wah! Wah! Who's this lady? That's not my mommy. Oh, a baby. Look, a cute little baby. Oh, this must be a Hebrew baby. One of God's people, said the princess. Oh, his mommy loves him. His mommy did not want to throw him in the river. She's keeping him safe. Oh, what a good mommy. Sister Miriam is watching. She's listening. Oh, the princess is not bad. The princess likes the baby. The princess will take care of the baby. Oh, God gives Miriam an idea. Quickly, Miriam runs. Princess, please let me find somebody to take care of the baby for you. Oh, yes, said the princess. Run quickly. Get the best lady to take care of this baby for me. I want to keep this baby, but he needs a good nurse. Oh, who is big sister Miriam going to go find? Who is she going to find to help the baby? Mommy! <laughs> she went to find Moses' mommy. Quickly, quickly, come. The princess found the baby. She wants you to come. Mommy must have run as fast as she could with her heart beating hard, praying to God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the princess said, take care of this baby for me. When he grows up, bring him to me at the palace. I want him to live in the best house in Egypt. <gasps> wow. Oh, thank you, God. God saved baby Moses. God had a plan for this special gift that he gave to the family. God does not want anything bad to happen to the kids that he sends to our families. No, God has good plans for Moses and God has good plans for you. We give thanks to the Lord for every baby, for every kid, and for all the plans God has for us. God has good plans for you. You are a special gift to your family from God, and he's watching over you every day. We give thanks to the Lord because of that, because he loves us. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story this time. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.